finding a video editing laptop under $1,000 is no easy task. But in this video, I've put together a list of the best laptops you can find for video editing under $1,000. So if you're on a budget, you're in the right place. Now let's jump into the entry level category. And I recommend these laptops for 1080p video editing. The reason being is the predominant laptop on this list is going to be a mobile CPU, as well as eight gigs of RAM. Now, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, these programs use quite a bit of RAM. So what happens is when you open your program, it's gonna use about five to six gigs of RAM, and your operating system alone is gonna use about one to two gigs of RAM. So let's say you have Google Chrome open as well, you've already maxed out your RAM, which is gonna slow down your editing experience in a program. So that's why I say 1080p, if you're looking towards 4K, 16 gigs is gonna be my preferred minimum. Now, my two favorite laptops on this list are gonna be the Asus ZenBook 4 because it does come with an NVIDIA MX450, which is a stronger GPU than the integrated graphics that come in CPUs, as well as the Dell Inspiron 7000 with 16 gigs of RAM. Gonna give you more space and a little bit more headroom on that RAM uh, inside of video editing software. Also, one thing you'll notice is that some of these laptops come with a lower color gamut range. As you increase the price point of the laptop, you're gonna to start to see the color gamut range increase. The reason being is the way brands save a little money on these more budget-friendly devices is they give you a lower quality color gamut range AKA a lower quality screen on your laptop. If you clicked on this video, it seems like you're trying to save money and level up your videos. Create better videos faster using Motion Array. Find over 600,000 video assets, templates, music, sound effects, plugins, and presets. Save hours and speed up your workflow using Motion Array's Adobe extensions, where you can easily drag and drop your assets directly into your timeline. Once in your timeline, the assets for Motion Array can be edited effortlessly due to their exceptional well-organized project structure. Get all the assets you need with unlimited downloads and a royalty-free worldwide license. Plus, if you cancel your subscription, you can still use the assets you downloaded forever. The Motion Array Asset Catalog is updated daily, and you can sign up for a monthly plan, which is a great fit while you're balling on a budget. Get started today by signing up for Motion Array using the link in the description below. Jumping into the next lineup, these laptops are gonna be great for 1080p and definitely giving you some 4K video editing opportunities. Now, like I said, if you see any of these laptops coming with eight gigs of RAM, I'd recommend upgrading them when you can or if you can increase your budget to make that upgrade as it will give you a much better video editing experience inside of the software. Now, the first two laptops on this lineup are gonna be my top picks. We have dedicated GPUs with four gigs of VRAM and eight series processor. That means they have higher performance, higher power consumption limits, Limits, and there's gonna be a smoother video editing experience. Now also the Apple MacBook Air M1 will be good for 1080p, maybe some light 4K, just depends on what software you're using. If you're using Final Cut Pro, you could definitely edit 4K on that laptop. If you're using Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve, you wanna be light on the 4K, as it may struggle a little bit and have some longer export times inside of those programs. Now, as you can see, the color gamut range on some of the more high performing laptops on this lineup are gonna have a lower color gamut range because that's the way brands are saving you some money. Now, as we're going through this lineup, if you're curious about the exact live pricing and availability of any of these laptops, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do make a purchase with that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, this next lineup of laptops is getting right at that $1,000 price point. Some are slightly over, but keep in mind, you can find some of these laptops on a sale, especially as we roll into the next generation of CPUs, thinking Intel 12th gen and Ryzen 6000. These laptops are gonna start to go on sale which means you can get what was an 11 or 12 or $1,300 laptop below the $1,000 price point. So though my estimated cost is above $1,000 for some of these laptops, keep in mind that as they go on sale, you'll be able to get a great deal as the newer tech rolls out. And if you're concerned that, okay, I don't wanna miss out on that bump in performance, well, keep in mind, it's only gonna be about a 15 to 25% bump in performance. And so if you're on a budget that really isn't getting you that much more for the savings you could get by buying Ryzen 5000 or Intel 11th gen. The laptops on this lineup are gonna perform very well for 4K video editing. My personal top picks are gonna be the Legion 5 and the HP Victor. I really like those two models. I think they have great performance, especially at the price point. If you want the 100% sRGB for the HP Victus or the Legion 5, make sure you get the 144 hertz screen variant. When you get the lower hertz screen variant and the lower brightness variant, you're gonna have less color gamut range. It's those higher hertz screens that have the good color gamut range. 
This is another lineup that I want you to keep an eye on going on sale this year because as the new models come out, these are going to go on sale and you could snag a great deal, possibly below $1,000. So I didn't want to negate these models, which have great performance and you could find for a great deal moving through this year as the new generation of CPUs come out. If you're curious about the specs that make up a great video editing laptop, and so you can fully understand for yourself why I picked the laptops in this lineup, then definitely check out this video in the YouTube end cards here, and it will help you with your buying decision. Otherwise, links in the description below if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.